Hello everyone, my name is Henry and I'm going to teach you option trading for beginners. I worked for Goldman Sachs, two Wall Street hedge funds, and I grew my portfolio to $1.7 million by the age of 27. We're going to cover the most important topics and I will use real examples, lots of examples, so you can see how options works in the real world. My goal will be to leave you with a strong understanding of what options are and how you can use them to make money and hopefully it's a lot of money. We'll be covering the following topics. Number one, what an option contract is. Number two, call and put options. Number three, how to make money with options. Number four, how to open and close for the best price. Number five, volatility and technical analysis. And finally, number six, I will show you my account, a few trades that you can make at the end of this video. Let's jump into it. But first, I do want to let you know that I coach beginners to advanced students, show my daily trades. And I have a 7k to 17k challenge and have coaches to help you master option trading and make a lot of money in the market. It's the first link to speak to someone for free to learn more about the option coaching academy fee and full details to see if it's right for you. And an option contract is an agreement between two parties to facilitate a potential transaction. Let's use a real estate example. Say I think your house will go up from its original price of $100,000 to $120,000. You think your house won't really budge because, well, there's that smelly guy across the street and, well, everyone else is leaving that neighborhood. Whatever. We can agree on a deal. If it goes up, I get the value and have the right to buy your house. But what's in it for you? Well, you can ask for a fee for me to have this right. Boom, we have an option contract. Now, all options have a strike. In our example, I say that I want everything above $100,000 to be mine. Your current value of the house is $100,000 and everything above that, I want it to be mine. All right, so our strike would be $100,000. It's the price the house has to be at least for me to have the right. If this neighborhood house goes down to $99,000, I can't own it. If it rises, however, I can. Now, I mentioned the seller or the owner of the house gets a fee. Say he asks me for $10,000. Not bad. Each option has a fee or premium. Last, we need to mention expiration date. All options expire. Typically, it's every Friday or at least a Friday once a month. I like weekly expiration for options because when you make money, it's every single week, which is nice to count all the money that you're making. This way, you also get to grow your account fast. But I also like monthly options because it's easier to keep track of and you still basically make the same amount of money. In our example, let's say the expiration is in six months. Now, let's go over the house example payoffs and how much money you can make. All right, so in six months, let's say in scenario one, Amazon comes in into the neighborhood and everyone starts working for Amazon. They have so many high paying jobs. Now your house goes up in value like crazy because Amazon headquarters now moved to your neighborhood. Well, or your city, right? Now the house, let's say is worth $200,000. It has doubled. My call option, or this is a call, this option contract between me and you is now worth $200,000 minus $100,000. So I have a profit of $100,000 and I only paid you $10,000. So it looks like the seller made a mistake with the person making the agreement or the call option buyer. In this example, I'm buying the house. I made a profit of $90,000 on my original investment. So my $10,000 became $100,000. My profit is $90,000 and my $10,000 went 10x and now became $100,000. That's scenario one. Now scenario two, which is much more realistic. Let's just say the house went up to $100,000 $120,000 like I thought it would be. So now that the house is $120,000, I paid you $10,000, but the house went up by $20,000. Well, it's $120,000 minus the strike price of $100,000. So the total amount that I have gained is $20,000. I had to pay you $10,000. So I'm left with $10,000 and you made $10,000 as well. But really the call option buyer, which is the one I'm focused on, which is myself, I've made $10,000 or I've turned $10,000 into $20,000. So I have doubled my money. Now in scenario three, let's say that the house goes up to $105,000. Well, in this scenario, I paid $10,000 as the fee, but the house only went up $5,000. So I actually ended up losing $5,000 because the house only went up to $105,000. So that's an example of a call option. You can make a lot of money buying call options. And as you probably noticed, you don't have to actually have a lot of money to make good money. In our example, I was able to own your house or at least control your house with only $10,000. And that is true of all call options. You pay a small fee and now you get to control 100 shares because each option is worth 100 shares all of the time. So you pay a couple hundred bucks instead of paying a 
lot of money to buy 100 shares. Now you control 100 shares with a tiny fraction of the money. This is fantastic, but what I typically see is option traders buy call options that are expiring very soon. That's a huge mistake because that means you need a stock to move up by a lot and you need it to happen very fast. Can you see why that's a gamble? No wonder this type of investor loses money and says options are just way too risky. Well, instead, if you buy an option, I recommend that you buy one with a high delta. Delta is available on any platform and explains the chance the option will expire in the money. It is also how much an option will rise by when the stock rises by $1. For example, a 50 delta means the option will rise by 50 cents when the stock rises by $1. Let me show you my portfolio and an example of this so you can fully understand it. All right, now we're gonna go over an example of call options. All right, I made about $140,000 in the past month. So this has been very profitable for me using a number of different strategies. So first of all, I want to go into a call option example. I'm going to use Apple and Apple is a good stock because it's pretty expensive, but I want to show you how much of a discount you really get from buying a call option and how the deltas work. So you understand exactly how much money you could be making. All right, so I'm going to pick an expiration date. We picked a six month expiration date. So six months from April is about October. So I'm going to pick October 21st right here. Now you can see that I'm going to buy a call option. Okay, I'm using the Robinhood platform. Now you can see that I'm going to buy a call call option, okay? If I was to buy 100 shares at the current price of $163, that would be $16,000, but I'm gonna show you a much easier way and much cheaper. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click buy call option. This right here is the premium. This is the premium of $15, and this is the strike price of $165. So instead of a $100,000 house, think of Apple as just a $165 house, okay? So I'm going to be buying this call option right here. Now again, since each option is worth 100 shares. Technically, you have to multiply this by 100 and this by 100, okay? So if you were to buy 100 shares, this will cost you again $16,500. And this right here, instead of $15, it's going to cost you $1,500. However, your max profit is actually unlimited because as Apple stock moves up, once Apple hits $165, everything above that is yours. So let's say that Apple goes up to $200. Well, you can buy it at $165. Regardless of how high Apple goes, it is yours at $165. And all you have to do is pay this premium right here. The premium is just $1,500 or on a per share basis, $15. Now, what you do have to do is let's say Apple is $165. The reason why this is still red in this chart right here is very helpful is because you have to add the call option premium. This premium right here has to be added to $165 and that gives you your break even price of $180. So in fact, you do need the stock to go above $180 to make profit because there is a fee involved with option trading. No one's going to take this contract for free. However, now let's say that Apple goes up to $195. Well, at $195 minus your strike of 165, that's 30 bucks. That's $30 and you're only paying 15. So you can double your money at $195. And if it goes up by 15 more dollars to $210, let's say, you can triple your money or quadruple your money if it goes up another $15. But as long as the stock ends up being above $180, which is pretty predictable for some of the big blue chip, those stable companies like Apple and Microsoft and maybe Netflix or Tesla. Whatever that stock is that you like, that big company that you wanna bet on, call options are very profitable if you're buying a call option on a good stock. Now, I do wanna show you deltas. Delta is very important. We talked about delta a little bit, but here this has 0.54 or basically 0.55. What that means is, actually this is very interesting because you do not need to wait until expiration. You can actually make money Money on a call option anytime that you want. You can always sell a call option for profit when you wish. So for this example, okay, let's say that you bought this call option now in April as I'm making this video, but this is still true in the future if you're watching this in the future. If you buy a call option with this delta right here, and let's say in the next few minutes, the stock ends up going up by $1, which is totally possible. This option is actually going to increase by 55 cents, which actually means $55 because each option is 100 shares. Shares. So you can make $55 in, let's say, a few minutes, and then you can just get rid of this contract. You do not need to hold it until expiration. Now, let's say that in one week, the stock ends up going up by about $10. So if the stock ends up going up by about $10, you're going to make about half of that, or about $5. Now, $5 is actually one third of what you paid here. 
So you're actually making 33% returns in one week. And this is a very good thing if you're a call option buyer. I do not recommend you own that call option until expiration. In fact, when you're buying call options, you just wanna make some quick profits and get out of that position, okay? So in this situation, if Apple goes up $10, you're going to make $5, which is a 33% return. And then you can just cut your position, take your $5 or your $500 worth of profit again, because each option is 100 shares. You can make $500 investing $1,000. $1,500 and that's it. Cut that position and roll your profit into another position. That's what Delta means. And this is what I use Delta for to understand how this option is going to move based on each dollar move in the stock itself. Now, as you've seen, a 50 Delta means the stock has a 50% chance to end up in the money. So you want to buy higher Deltas usually and sell lower Deltas most of the time as a rule of thumb. Now, doesn't that make a lot more sense than buying a call option way out of the money and losing four out of five times? Now that you have the basics of a call option down, let's discuss put options. So now I'm excited to teach you more about put options. Remember, a put option is betting a stock will fall. Instead of doing something very risky, like shorting the stock, a put option lets you do that with much less risk. A put option profits when the stock moves lower. You can only lose what you pay for the put option. Similarly, just like you can only lose what you pay for the call option example we just went over. And oftentimes, they're not very expensive. Each option controls 100 shares, so you can make a lot of money buying a put option on a stock. And if and when it falls, you can see a big return like 100% or 200% on the option. That's because a put option is going to increase in value a lot when the underlying stock that you buy the put option on ends up falling. So you want to pick stocks that are likely to continue falling based on a few factors like technical analysis, which you can learn a lot more about in that first link in the description I mentioned earlier. So don't be scared of options. Oftentimes, they can be a lot safer than stocks because you only risk what you pay for the option. Make sure not to put all of your eggs in one basket and do your own research on a stock before you buy a put option. As long as you diversify and buy put options when you have a lot of certainty, the stock or stocks will fall then you will be in very good shape. Buying a put option is perfect when the market is going to fall that week or in the next few weeks. Now, all we really need to understand is what strike to pick and how to close a put option. And for that, I'm going to go into a full walkthrough on my screen. All right, check it out. We're gonna talk about buying put options, exactly what strike to pick, what expiration to pick. All right, the stock I'm going to be using is ExxonMobil. This is a huge gas and oil company. Now this stock is trading at an all time high. It's currently at $88, but we all know that oil and gas this is not a sustainable future for us. We all know that we're going more into electric vehicles and other renewable energy sources. This stock is up way too much in a very short amount of time. And I believe that the stock is going to fall. So this is not trading advice, but let me show you what I am planning on doing. So the stock is $88. Okay, I'm going to go into trade XOM options and XOM is the ticker symbol for Exxon Mobil. Now I want to make sure that I'm buying a put option. Now I don't have to do a six month put option. Let's say that I think the stock is going to crash in maybe a month or two months. So I'm going to go out to June 17th. Now what you can do with a put option and how you can make money with it is now you can bet on a stock going down. So right now we see the 87 and a half put option right here. This is the strike and this is the premium. So the premium is only $473. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to expand this option right here. I do want to show you the delta. The delta is again about 0.5, it's 0.46 here. So if XOM falls down by $1, you're going to be making 46 cents. Again, you do not need to hold this option until expiration. You don't need to wait until June 17th to make money because if XOM ends up falling by one or $2, you're going to make about 46 cents on each dollar move, which is pretty good because 46 cents is basically $46. So this option is going to increase in value by 10% if the stock moves by just $1 downward. So $1 move in the stock is barely over 1% of the stock's current value. But because options are leveraged, they can make so much money. If XOM falls by just $1, which is a little bit over one and a half percent right around there the option is actually going to move by 10 
percent. So you're going to turn $473 into about $520 give or take. Now the optimal strike that you do want to pick is going to be right around the strike price the stock is currently traded at because you're going to have a higher delta. In fact, the one thing that you may also do is actually pick an option that is slightly in the money. What I mean by that is a put option is in the money when the stock is below the strike price. Here the strike price is 90. The stock is currently $88. So this would be called an in the money option. And this is actually going to have a higher delta because delta is the probability that the option will stay in the money or will actually expire in the money, which means that you're making money on this position. Here, there's a 53% chance or a 0.53 delta. Now you've probably noticed that delta has two definitions. One definition is how this option's premium will behave. And the second definition is actually the chances that this option will expire in the money on this expiration date. So basically buying put options is very good on stocks that fall down. You can look at these deltas and you can actually pick higher deltas if you wish by picking higher strike prices. So here the delta is 0.67. So for buying put options, you wanna make sure that you have a higher delta. Higher isn't necessarily better, but a higher delta around 0.5 to 0.65, maybe even 0.7 is going to be great because you're going to make a lot of profit if the stock moves down lower. Now for call options, you want pretty much the same thing, but in reverse. You still want good deltas, but in call option examples, you want the stock to go up just like you want the house to go up. Awesome, now you have the basics down. Remember, below you can learn about coaching with me to become a profitable option trader and get all of my trade signals.